Welcome to Matt's Metalworking. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fill holes in metal by welding. For this, I'm using the rear plate of a lawn tractor as an example. I'm working on a rear bagger setup for this lawn tractor, and I'll have a video for that in the future. The previous owner did drill some holes for an attachment, which I'd like to fill up. I will be using a flux core MIG welder for this. The thickness of steel will affect how well it's able to handle the heat, such as burning through or warpage. With this being a thicker material, it's much easier to work with. I'm using 35 thou flux core wire, the thinnest version available is 30 thou, and that would be recommended for thinner materials as you can control the heat better. First is cleaning up the piece, preparing it for welding. My layout tape was removed along with a sticker. For removing any light surface rust or paint, I'd recommend using an abrasive pad. This won't remove any metal material and can clean up the surface very well. For excessive rust, a wire wheel or flap wheel will be best for this to ensure you have a properly prepped surface with minimal chance of impurities which would create pinholes. Do this for both sides of the piece. If you are working with the vehicle body panel, be extremely careful with the grinder as this too can create excessive heat, creating warpage in the panel. As to clean out the inside of the hole, a rat tail file, burr a bit, stone or even a drill up to the next size will be fine. Make sure you also have a clean spot for that ground clamp. Now for a backer, this is by far the easiest way to make a clean repair and prevent the hole from becoming larger. For this I'm using a thicker piece of copper, about 3 16 to a quarter inch works perfect for this. Firmly clamp the piece in place, make sure it's roughly centered over the area you're welding. The puddle won't stick to the copper, it does work great as a heat sink, it won't burn up, and you're able to fill the hole without making it bigger. Next is welding the piece. Make sure you are wearing the appropriate safety gear for welding. I do have a video for this. Heat ranges and wire feeds will depend on your machine, wire thickness, and material thickness too. It may be best to experiment on a sample piece first. I typically like to start from one side of the hole, weave back and forth on the larger part of the hole, and then finish up on the opposite side. At the end, if you finish up too quick, you may be left with a small pocket, so be sure you hold that puddle in place for a moment. Inspect the repair. If you do find any pockets, that's not an issue as you can clean up the surface if it's a flux core and add more weld. If you are working on a thinner gauge metal such as found on body panels, short tack welds would be recommended instead as this can keep the heat down, reducing the chance of warpage. There was some damage at the bottom which I did fill up too. The copper backer gives a smooth finish on the back side. Depending on how much material buildup you have, you can use a grinding disc or flap wheel to smoothen out the surface. Again, watch the heat when knocking down those high spots as you can create excessive heat, warping the panel. When done grinding, and if any filling was required in between, this is what you'll be left with. The outside is smooth, and I didn't spend much time on the back side as it won't be seen. After that, the piece was then prepped for paint, such as degreasing, sanding, and then primer was applied. The primer was sanded before paint, no filler was applied here. How much time you invest on something like this will depend on the final finish. You can see some deformation at the bottom. This wasn't holes that I patched, but rather some damage from the previous owner, I'm assuming from a hitch. After that was putting the plate back in place, and then installing the bagger bracket. This concludes the rest of my video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment below along with a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my metalworking channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.